They're saying hi. This is all and my dreams are coming Chopa. true. Okay, now this is Chopa. Good girl. Hi, Chopa. Oh. How are you? Welcome here, She's and it is so good. nice to meet you. We flew all the way here to go on a play Hi, date with Chopa. you guys. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Look at him. What are you staring at? <laughs> he's like, he's like. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi, Chopa. Hey, buddy. Oh, there we go. You know what? I think we need to do is we need to switch places. We you sit should. with Douglas. Okay. I'll right. sit with Chopa. Let's. Does that work for I think that's you, a great idea. Simu? Now, is it true that you adopted Chopa on the set of the movie Arthur yes. the King? I, I fell hopelessly in love. One day we show up and there's just like 15 dogs that have been wrangled together. So it was like a big scene, you know. Um, the movie is about stray dogs in the Dominican, so we had these dogs that were supplied by a shelter. And she, she just, you know, when you have that special connection, um, and you just, right, you see it in their eyes, and it's, just, it's something about Chopa was definite. Like, we were just connecting on so many levels, and I, and I talked to the Wranglers, and I was like, hey, do you think I could just foster this dog for, like, a couple days? And I knew it wasn't gonna be a couple days. But that, you know, that's good. You were, yeah. you were dating. We were in the dating, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, I, I'm really excited about this movie. I mean, Arthur the King, first of all, I love Mark Wahlberg. Uh -huh. So that's so fun, you know, yeah. to, to yeah, watch yeah. him. I love you guys being together and talking about like human endurance yes. meets the conversation <laughs> of what is it about animals that can lead. I love that. And you know, when do we turn our trust to them? Yeah. And what is that relationship? And that's not often explored in this type of heightened setting. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. there's like an Iron Man type of, but Iron uh -huh. Man on steroids. Uh -huh. I just can't believe this is a true story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's so much of, of it I didn't believe reading the script for the first time. The first, first of all, being that adventure racing is a thing that people partake in. I mean, you said it, like it's, it's like five, it's like an Iron Man taking place over 10 days. And there are people who do this like competitively, like they really live and breathe this sport. And it's not just seeing what your capacity is, you're competing against other mm -hmm, people. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's just, it, and it's a sport in like the loosest sense of the term. It's like you get from these two points, like point A to point B, but like you need to navigate, like you figure out a way and there's like whatever, like everything is fair game. So if you encounter like a zip line in the middle of the forest, like you can use it. Which is what we do in the yeah, in the, in the and movie. you climb mountains with bikes strapped to your back, something bicycles. Like, that, yeah. like it's insane. There is something about you that I am completely ex obsessed with, and, <laughs> and just can I please speak to mm -hmm, you about mm -hmm. your career, your life before you truly became a movie star? <laughs> you were like doing different types of jobs. In fact, were you an accountant? I was an accountant. Yeah, I worked for a little company called Deloitte. Um, yes. Which is one of the, it's like a bit, you know. I know Deloitte. And, and I was objectively bad at it. I was hating my life every day. I, I was like dragging myself out of bed. So what was yeah. it? What was like, what was the first step you took? I did skip work to be an extra on a movie set. Okay. Were um, you happy that day? I was very happy that day. And it was like one of those, like, you know, it, it was uh, Pacific Rim. Oh my God, yes. Which was like Guillermo del Toro. It was a big budget thing. And, and you know, it's like one of those days where there's 300 extras. So the day starts at like, I remember the day started at like 4.30. 4 a.m. Because yeah, they got to get sunrise. You got to be working and you, filming by the time the sun comes you up. You can't burn the daylight. You know, you, you can't burn the daylight. And so, and I remember too, like we were playing, like we were spray painted this like metallic blue because an alien had just exploded. So uh, their blood was supposed to be like all over us. And I remember being like, this is so freaking awesome. And, and I turned off my phone for the day and I turned it on at the end of this like 16 hour day. Yep. And there's like 47 missed calls from work. But um, that was, so then th that's how I got found out. And then a few weeks later, I was, uh, I, was, I was let go. So then it was like, finally, for the first time, I was like, what do you want to do? What do you, Simu, want to do? And I kind of was like, I really like that day on set. So I think I might just try. And I had like negative connections to the industry. I seriously could not have known fewer people involved. But I, I started 
going on Craigslist, which is how I found this movie, by the way, the the, the um, Pacific Rim movie, was like going on Craigslist, like searching up. I would not recommend that you do that, by the way. <laughs> Especially at this, you know, now in 2024, there's a lot of, like, don't, don't, don't get your start on Craigslist. There's agents that you can call and, and you know, ways to do it. But, but that was, you know, I was in Toronto, you know, um, um, not exactly Hollywood by any means. So I, I was just trying to find any chance to be on a set that I could. And it was like, it wasn't always these big budget movies. It was like, um, it was like music videos and student films. There's a lot of stuff that I've done that I'm like terribly embarrassed of that I hope never sees the light of day. Well, actually. Oh no. Um, <laughs> we have, um, you were also a stock image model, which oh, I, I, look at you. <laughs> 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 I, look, I look so happy. The irony is the, it I, looks like you're a, an being accountant. an accountant and loving and life. And loving my job, yeah. <laughs> and that's how I knew I was going to be a good actor. And by the basically. way, then they made it into a book, you're, just so you know. Yeah, look. Well, we have to go to a quick commercial break, but um, when we come back, I want to talk about all things Barbie. Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. We'll be right back. 